Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump need 270 votes in the Electoral College, which is a majority of the 538 possible to win the presidency this year. And everyone's watching swing states like Florida, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. Each one has lots of votes up for grabs, and right now they're all pretty evenly split between the two candidates. Florida leans Republican, more so than the country as a whole. And a Republican hasn't won the presidency without Florida's 29 votes since Calvin Coolidge did it in 1924. Florida would be a soft, helpful cushion for Clinton, or Donald Trump's first step to a win. Clinton's grip is much stronger on Pennsylvania in its 20 votes. She's banking on the state as a stopper against the Trump surge. Ronald Reagan was the last Republican to win there back in 1988. Trump, meanwhile, is hoping to turn blue states like Michigan with its 16 votes. That means Clinton needs to keep North Carolina and its 15 votes from turning red. North Carolina went Republican four years ago, but did go for Barack Obama in 2008. Clinton faces an even tougher road in Ohio, which has 18 votes and seems to be leaning towards Trump. JFK was the last Democrat to win the presidency without carrying Ohio in 1960. A hundred years earlier, Abe Lincoln was the last Republican to do that. Clinton could get some help out west. She's leading in Nevada, but a win there would not offset losses out east. States like Utah, Arizona, and Texas also are closer than in past years, but likely not enough for Trump to lose them. So what about Oregon? Well, we're usually overlooked in this guessing game for a couple of reasons. For one, we've got just seven electoral votes, which is pretty puny. But really, we're just too consistent. Oregon has voted for Democrats since 1988. The state's only gotten bluer since then, and polls say that's not changing anytime soon. As always, for the best and freshest coverage of this election, head to OregonLive.com politics.